So part of my uh, pipe fence project is to also block off these paddocks. And so I bought myself uh, some wrought iron fence and I bought it as cheap as you would buy a panel at Tractor Supply, $38 a panel. Which you all know that's a good price. So I'm gonna weed whack this area, put it down, start looking at it. You know, it's not a today project, but I'm gonna put it here while I think about it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna raise it up put a uh, rail on the bottom to rest it in and maybe a piece of barbed wire under that. Kind of make it uh, a little more aggressive against the cattle because th they'll push against things. So let me go ahead and clean this all up. No matter how careful you are not to hit barbed wire with a string trimmer, you're going to hit barbed wire with a string trimmer. <laughs> so I only have about 25, 30 foot of that uh, rod iron, and I, I've seen 50 or 60 foot of space here, so some will be barbed wire. keep those cattle out of there I'm gonna to have to raise it up like I said I think I'll put it on a rail or maybe two Are you guys all seeing that a 225 pound man by his sheer weight cannot drive a little tiny pencil sized steel rod down into the ground? That uh, literally, that is how hard Texas soil gets without moisture. Rock hard. All right, but I like that. So, uh, you know, there'll be a post here supporting that. These will come up a little higher. There'll be bottom rails in which these will drop into. Here will be a gate, a pedestrian gate, and then I'll put a post in there, straighten that fence out, pull it out, take care of that pin oak. Let me see, I've got two more in the, in the car. Let's see how far that takes me.
Well, this is the first time I'm getting to inspect these. So I actually had one extra panel in there. I, he charged me for six, but I see there are seven. So six times four is $240. And these should have been $200 a piece. So good deal, $1,400 versus $240, roughly. But uh, anyway, some are not six foot. Some are, that one's a little shorter. And uh, there's some missing off of it. So I will use that maybe where there's a gate or something where I have to do some cutting. But uh, once I get some post up here, some pipe post, a bottom rail, get this out of the dirt, I think I'm gonna be pretty pleased with it. I have one, two of the crowns. I see a few missing. I'll eventually make a little cast of them and uh, make them out of aluminum. So yeah, that, that did 35 feet, a little over that. So then something here. So the fence is actually, the uh, gates are normally uh, 14 feet. So I might have skimped up on that too a little bit. This might not be a 14 foot opening. I just eyeballed it. And then I'm gonna have the fence, pedestrian opening, a fence, and of course a, a you know proper post here. All of these paddocks are falling apart, so I'll fix them all up. But boy, I sure do like that. I sure do like that. I, I could not buy that from Tractor Supply for less money. I just need to do a little customization to get it up and paint it. So uh, and I'll use the Eastwood rust converter on that so it will stop the rust. And um, that'll look real good. Real fancy, like an old, old farm. All right, so this is Steve running my wrought iron fence through the front paddock just to divide this up. I want each paddock to be density grazed so that the cattle get rid of the weeds instead of just grazing the good grass and leaving the weeds. That's how you manage weeds. So let me take a look at this real close. I like the patterns. They almost all have the same decorative top. Some of them have a little bit different. A few of them are missing, not very many. I see over here that there's some with a different style top further down. Well, no, they almost all have the same top. Huh. Yeah, they look good. No, they do. Some of them are different. See, some of them have a floral, some of them don't. I, I thought I saw a difference. Right there, you could see the difference. All right. Anyway, that's part of my pipe fence project I'm working on of getting these paddocks divided out and uh, man I, I'm pretty happy about this purchase I'll tell you so like subscribe follow me along thanks much bye